Hey, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and you're staying healthy and you're staying inside and being extra bored and just um, trying to kind of get through this as the best that we can. But I don't want to chat too much about it because everybody chats so much about it. Anyway, so guys, let's just jump into this comparison video. We are going to be comparing the Baby Buddha to the Motif Duo. Um, I'm going to kind of give you guys like a little bit of rundowns about what each pump can do and which pump I think kind of might suit a certain lifestyle and then kind of give you my like final thoughts on which one I would use over the other type thing kind of at the end. So I hope you guys enjoy um, comparison videos and if there are other pumps that you want me to compare. Um, I have a ton of comparison videos on my channel so definitely check that out. Um, I'll link a couple up here and there are some in the description box as well. So let's just jump into it. The first pump that I want to talk about is the Baby Buddha because a lot of people um, just in general talk about this pump. Um, you probably can't see but there is like an on button here. Uh, mine just kind of rubbed off so th there is an on button on mine. Just not really sure why it rubbed off. Um, I don't really care like it still works. It's just kind of a cosmetic thing but um, a lot of people like this pump because of the size and the amount of suction that this thing can dish out. It is like the powerhouse of pumps. Like the thing, I don't know how like they fit such a like awesome massive suction motor in this little thing. Like look, it's like, you know, super small and it fits like right kind of in my hand like this. Um, so the suction on this thing is so intense. The only kind of problem that I see with this pump is for me, I can't use this pump like every single day for every single pump session. Um, it gets to be too intense for me. Um, but I love having this pump on hand because it gets out my clogs in like one pump session or less because the suction is so intense. Um, that being said, I know tons of people who use this pump daily and for every pump session and they don't have any trouble with it. I would just kind of go into it as the suction is really intense but it's not a pull, it is more of a vibration, but it still has a really strong, strong suction. Um, I know people who can go all the way up to like level seven or nine on this thing, but I'm somebody who can only go to level one, maybe two. Um, I've never even been to like level three just because it's too intense for me. But that being said, I still love having this pump and I would definitely recommend this pump to everybody. So. I guess I'm going a little bit backwards because I kind of did like my thoughts first, but whatever. So this pump is battery operated, so you can um, bring it with you wherever you go. It has this lanyard, which is super helpful. A lot of people have it around their neck and then they buy a separate clip that they can put here. Um, you can get it on Amazon and they usually just clip it to their shirt or bra here like this. That's why a lot of people see it like that. Um, it does not come with that clip. You have to buy it. I don't have one. Um, you can find them on Amazon. I'll link it down below. So the battery life on this thing will probably last you two 30 minute sessions, maybe, but it also depends on the suction. So I only go to like suction one or two and I can get two 30 minute sessions out of this. Sometimes three, it really like depends like if I wasn't exactly 30 minutes with each pump session, but the battery life um, is kind of short on this guy. Um, it does have its own tubing um, that you can hack. I will link its website down below and it has, Baby Buddha has a ton of um, component hacks uh, on their website. I did just make a hack video on how to hack um, pretty much every pump on the market. So I will link that up there for you guys, but there is a charge port here for it. Um, otherwise, like this is such a great on the go pump. A lot of people, like I said, have it clipped here and they walk around. Um, the, the only thing is that this little dial turns the suction up and down. Um, and if you click it, you go to um, expression mode 
it's pretty loud. That's the only thing. Yeah. The other thing that this pump has um, is during stimulation mode, um, it has this thing where it does a really long, scary, kind of uncomfortable pull. Some people really like this feature, other, people's, other people don't. You can totally um, bypass that. So I'm going to kind of show you what it is. Um, I'm not going to talk, I'll just show you so you guys can listen. So we'll turn it up so you can hear it. So did you just hear that really long pull? So that long pull is supposed to help the milk kind of let down. Um, if you want to bypass that, all you have to do is when it's on, you just roll the dial down so it sort of restarts what it's doing. Um, and then you can just bypass that and kind of keep rolling the button down as um, it's going through stimulation mode. And then when you want to go to ex expression mode, you just press the dial and then there it is. So that's kind of like the gist of this pump. I think this pump is great for on the go. I think it's also great for exclusive pumpers as well. Um, you just wanna definitely kind of try it and make sure the suction like isn't too much for you. But I do recommend that every exclusive pumper should have one of these pumps on hand. Um, they usually are, like, I think this pump ranges around, like, 180 to, like, 190 or so. There is another, like, kind of knockoff pump. I think it's called the Mommy Tail or something. Um, a lot of people have asked me to compare the Baby Buddha to that. Um, honestly, they look alike, so I assume that they are alike, but it's hard to know. If you guys are interested in me comparing that, definitely comment below and I'll see if I can get my hands on it. So the next pump that we're gonna talk about is the Motif Duo. So this little guy is a little bit bigger than the Buddha, um, but still is um, a great little powerhouse pump. I do wanna say that the suction on this one does not go anywhere near the Baby Buddha. Um, this one does have that vibration suction, um, but it, it, it goes up to, I think, level, let's see, uh, level 10, but the level 10 on the Duo compared to the Buddha is not even near, like, they're, they're not close. But that being said, this pump will completely remove milk for you comfortably and safely. Um, it's still a really great pump. It does have a stimulation mode and an expression mode. That's the middle button right here. The battery life on this pump, I want to say, is a lot better than the Baby Buddha. It can last you at least like three or four 30 minute pump sessions. Um, and it does have the uh, double and single pumping option, as well as the Baby Buddha. I did forget to mention that they do have a single option on the Baby Buddha. Um, so this pump. Uh, is made by Motif, so it is compatible with all Motif um, bottle parts, and you can also hack this pump as well. Like I said, I just made that hack video, so check that out if you're looking to hack the Duo. It's a great little pump. I love how quiet it is. That's at level 10. It's a super quiet little pump. I should probably turn it down so that when I actually go to use it, it's not at like at level 12. I love how quiet it is. It's super light. I do wish that it was like it was a little bit smaller so you could potentially clip it. I think that they could have put a clip on the back of this pump and it would have been great to kind of click to your pants. That would have been awesome. Um, but this suction is a lot more gentler. It's a lot more like the Spectra. It's a vibration and the suction um, is kind of a little bit more of a pull but definitely closer to the vibration side um if people like the spectra i usually but they want something that's like a little bit more um on the go i usually would suggest the duo i feel like the duo is a great place to start if you are going to be on the go because it's a lot cheaper than the um Medela Freestyle. It's considered free through your insurance, which is awesome. The Baby Buddha is not, you cannot get this 
through insurance yet you have to order it online so that's kind of like another thing to sort of put out there where this one you can get free through your insurance um, it comes with a bag it comes with a lot of different things um, I'll link Aeroflow down below um, they're a super great um, website platform that you can get breast pumps through your insurance and if you're looking for a breast pump definitely check through your insurance. Pretty much all insurances have to offer um, a free breast pump. So de definitely check and see which one is offered. But the uh, charge port is also down here and I really like how it has this little like kind of moisture protector thing. I think that that's super important. Um, I really wish more pumps would do that just because you are using you know a liquid and if God forbid it fell or got in there. It's really nice that it does have the option of protecting that so then you wouldn't have to go and get a brand new pump. Um, which one would, like, which one would I pick? I feel like I get that question all the time and it really kind of depends on, like, what you're looking for in a pump. Um, if it were up to me, I would really grab both of them. Uh, I think that they're, like, they are the same in terms of what they can do because they're so portable but this one has a lot more suction and this one's a lot more gentler so it, you know it kind of depends on your personal preference if um i was super like wanting to try the buddha um after i had my second son just because um i had tried a lot of pumps and hadn't tried a pump that had um like a high high suction rate uh, and I had tried the Spectra and the Spectra was fine for me, but I just felt like I wasn't quite getting enough sim stimulation. So when I tried the Buddha, I was like, wow, this is awesome. But that being said, I can't use it every single session, but that doesn't mean that that would necessarily happen for you. It's all like personal preference. As for the Duo, um, he's super, super gentle and I love how um, the, long the battery life lasts and I love how it's a lot more easier to hack. Um, because it has like these little spigot things here. It's free through insurance. So that's like kind of, you know, anything that's free, like I'm more apt to get, right? So if it were me, who would I pick? Like, uh, it's super hard to kind of tell, but I would probably go with the Baby Buddha because I do use Medela Sonata a lot more. And I use my Buddha when I have a clog or if I'm out in public or something and I need to pump really quick, I use this guy because he does drain me pretty fast. Not to say that the Duo wouldn't drain you fast, it's just the suction is a lot more gentler um, and for me personally, it just takes me a little bit longer, but that's not the case that could happen with you. Um, it's kind of hard to sort of, I feel like it's hard to compare pumps sometimes just by like suction wise because everybody's body um, gets stimulated differently. Uh, but that being said, the Duo is awesome because you can get it for free. So I think for anybody out there, you should definitely try the Duo and then, you know, maybe spend your money on the Baby Buddha and like sort of see, you know, how both of those sections work for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next.